Hello, my friend. My name is Stephen Dalton. Welcome to my channel. It's my privilege to be the voice that you listen to as you go to sleep tonight. Tonight's story is a continuation of a series where we look at great and famous pieces of art. We imagine the world in which they were painted and we view them and enjoy the calming elements of them. Tonight's story centers around Monet's water lilies. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a regular listener, you know you are welcome. As always, before we start the story and the relaxation exercise, please let me know how you're getting on with the channel. It means a lot. And as you'll see, I often reply. Okay, let's get relaxed before the story. Feel how your body is just lying here. All you have to do in this moment is notice. Keep it simple. Breathe in slowly through your nose and out through your mouth. Notice how your stomach rises and falls. Now, imagine a color. Perhaps it's your favorite color. Now, bring your self-awareness to your chest. Feel free to put your hand on it. And feel inside yourself. And imagine your color as a bright light. In the beginning, it is a small sphere of light sitting in the center of your chest. Now, expand this light with every breath. Let it grow a little larger until it has become a sphere of light which surrounds your chest. Breathe in and out naturally and see how this energy expands more and more. Your whole body is now enveloped in this radiant color. Notice that every cell of your body glows in this color. It flows from your arms to your torso, onto your neck, your head, and moves into your chest, to your abdomen. It flows and pulsates in a calm stream of colored light. It 
flows into your pelvic floor. Into your thighs. To your lower legs. To your feet. Feel into your toes. And feel the pleasant warmth and flow of energy that is now circulating in your body. Allow this to bring peace to you. Just let go now. Let go of everything. You are in the magical city of Paris and you find yourself standing outside the enchanting Musée de l'Orangerie which is the home to Claude Monet's famous Water Lilies series. The museum's elegant facade is adorned with delicate ornaments, gentle curves, and it hints at the treasures that await you inside. As you approach the entrance, the anticipation and excitement build within you. Eager to explore the captivating world of Monet's dreamy garden. You take a deep breath inhaling the crisp Parisian air as you step through the museum's doors. The moment you cross the threshold, you are greeted with the hushed whispers of other visitors, their voices like a soft breeze rustling through leaves. Your footsteps echo gently on the marble floor, guiding you further into the museum. You follow the signs and you meander through a series of rooms filled with mesmerizing art. Each step takes you closer to the main attraction, the two oval rooms dedicated to Monet's water lilies. As you walk, you take your time, pausing occasionally to admire the artworks along the way, each one a masterpiece in its own right. At last, you arrive at the entrance of the first oval room. You take a moment to prepare yourself for the experience. Closing your eyes and taking a few slow 
deep breaths. You can feel the tranquility of this space before you enter. A calming energy that seems to flow from the room and envelop you. As you open your eyes and step into the room, you are greeted by the panoramic view of the paintings. The vast canvases wrap around the walls, which creates an amazing immersive environment that invites you to lose yourself in their beauty. The soft, diffused lighting casts a warm glow on the paintings, which only serves to heighten the sense of serenity that pervades this space. You begin your journey through Monet's garden by approaching the first painting, titled Morning with Weeping Willows. It was in 1893 that Monet, a passionate horticulturalist, purchased land with a pond near his property in Giverny. He was intending to build something for the pleasure of the eye and also for motifs to paint. The result was his water lily garden. The first Water Lily series was painted between the years of 1897 to 1899, but in his lifetime he came back to this subject matter several times and painted more than 250 water lily paintings. In fact, Monet planted the water lilies himself, along with a small army of gardeners. He diverted a river, planted the water lilies, exotic flowers, weeping willows, and bamboo trees. The scene before you is bathed in the soft light of dawn. The sky, awash with pastel shades of pink, violet, and blue. And as you gaze at the canvas, you can almost feel the cool morning air on your skin. The dewdrops glistening on the leaves of the weeping willows. Your eyes follow the gentle curve of the branches as they arch over the water.
their feathery tips, just barely touching the surface. The water itself is rendered in delicate strokes of pale blue, reflecting the colors of the sky above. The lily pads, scattered across the pond like a patchwork quilt, are depicted in various shades of green. Their edges, softened by the morning mist, As you move closer to the painting, you notice the intricate details Monet has captured in his brush strokes. The subtle variations in color and texture create a sense of depth and movement as if the water is gently rippling beneath the lily pads. You find yourself lost in the moment. Your thoughts drifting away like the wisps of mist that hover above the water's surface. Slowly, you tear your gaze away from the painting and continue your journey around the room. The next canvas, water lilies and reflections of a willow, presents a different view of Monet's garden. The perspective is shifted to focus more on the pond and the reflections that dance upon its surface. The light in this painting is warmer, the sun climbing higher in the sky and casting its golden rays through the branches of the willow. The reflections of the trees and lily pads are rendered in fluid, dappled strokes, creating a sense of movement and depth. The water seems to come alive, shimmering and sparkling like a precious jewel. You feel so safe here. So safe being curious. Us humans are at our best when we are curious. It gives us a little bit of extra joy. As you continue to admire the captivating scene before you, a sudden 
inexplicable sensation washes over you. You feel as though you are being gently pulled into the painting. The world around you dissolving into a blur of colors and shapes. In an instant, you find yourself standing within Monet's garden, the very scene he painted. You look around, marveling at the vividness of the world that has come to life before your eyes. The fragrant scent of flowers fills the air, mingling with the earthy aroma of the soil and the faint, refreshing scent of the pond water. A soft breeze caresses your skin. The coolness of the air, a pleasant contrast to the warmth of the sun's rays. As you survey the beauty of the scene, you notice a figure standing near the edge of the pond. It is none other than Claude Monet himself. His eyes, focused intently on the canvas before him. His hands, deftly guiding the paintbrush as it dances across the surface. You approach him cautiously, not wanting to disturb his creative process. As you draw closer, you can see the myriad colors that adorn his palette. Each one carefully mixed and blended. His brush moves with a delicate, almost reverent touch. Each stroke capturing the essence of the scene before him. You watch him as he works, his beautiful mind, a whirlwind of artistic expression and quiet contemplation. He considers the play of light and shadow on the water, the delicate balance of colors and textures, and the ever-changing mood of the garden. As the day progresses,
each observation is translated into a masterful stroke of his brush, breathing life onto the canvas. Standing there, you can hear the gentle rustle of leaves and the distant melody of birdsong. The soundtrack to Monet's creative sanctuary. The sun casts dappled patterns on the ground. The branches of the willow tree swaying gently above you. The air is filled with a sense of peace. As you continue to watch Monet work, you begin to feel a deep connection to the artist and to the world in which he inhabits. It is as if you are seeing the world through his eyes, sharing in his appreciation for the beauty of nature and the fleeting, ephemeral quality of each moment. find the experience humbling or inspiring. Perhaps it is leaving you with a newfound appreciation for the power of art. Eventually, Monet takes a step back from his canvas, his eyes scanning the scene before him with a look of quiet satisfaction. He sets his paintbrush down, his gaze lingering on the water lilies and the reflections that dance upon the pond's surface. You can sense, perhaps, that he has captured the essence of the scene. the spirit of the garden, forever immortalized in his masterful strokes. Now, you decide 
to explore this enchanting world further. You feel safe in this place, amongst this beauty. The sun shines warmly upon your face, casting a soft golden light that seems to make everything glow with a gentle radiance. You wander along the edges of the pond The water's surface, smooth and glassy, reflecting the sky above like a mirror. The lily pads float serenely, their vibrant greens contrasting with the delicate pinks, purples, and whites of the flowers that bloom among them. As you walk, you watch the ripples that form in the water. Each one a testament to the subtle, ever-changing nature of the world around you. Pausing at the edge of the pond, you take a moment to simply breathe, feeling the rise and fall of your chest as you inhale the fragrant scents that fill the air. Continue your stroll and discover hidden corners of the garden that reveal more of its breathtaking beauty. In one secluded spot, a small bench awaits. Nestled beneath the sweeping branches of a willow tree. You sit down, allowing the soothing rustle of the leaves to lull you into a deep state of relaxation. As you sit there, you notice some of the creatures that call this garden home. Butterflies flit gracefully from flower to flower, their wings painted with vibrant colors and intricate patterns. Dragonflies skim the surface of the water. 
their iridescent wings shimmering in the sunlight. Time seems to stand still. The only way you see it passing is the sun making its slow journey across the sky. Casting ever-changing patterns of light and shadow on the landscape around you. You watch as the colors of the garden shift and evolve. Each moment a fleeting, unique masterpiece painted by the hand of nature. As the day gives way to the soft, dusky hues of twilight, the garden takes on an even more magical quality. The vibrant colors of the flowers and lily pads begin to fade, replaced by the gentle glow of the setting sun. The air grows cooler a refreshing change from the warmth of the day. You decide to find a peaceful spot from which to watch the first stars appear in the evening sky. Again, you come across a beautiful willow tree. Its branches cascade gracefully to the ground creating a secluded, tranquil nook where you can nestle into and enjoy the quiet beauty of the night. As you settle down, against the sturdy, reassuring trunk of the tree. You feel the soft, cool grass beneath you. Its gentle touch, soothing your skin. The willow's branches sway overhead. Their 
gentle rustling, a lullaby that calms your thoughts and invites you to let go of everything. As the sky above you deepens into a rich indigo, the first stars appear, their delicate light twinkling like diamonds against the velvet canvas of the night. You watch as more stars gradually emerge. As you recline against the willow tree, your eyes grow heavy. The peaceful embrace of the garden invites you to surrender to the gentle arms of sleep. You let your eyes drift closed. The soothing sounds and scents of the garden lulling you into a deep, restful slumber. As you drift off, the magic and beauty of Monet's world remain etched in your memory. The garden cradles you in its peaceful embrace. Caring for you as you sleep. Ensuring a night of sweet, restorative dreams. beneath the stars.